Hi everybody, welcome to Truth Be Told. I am honored and privileged to be here today as I share the Word of God with you, as I share a conversation I had with God recently. I wanted to bless you all. I believe in the power of prayer. I pray that we open our mouths, that we know the hope of the calling of God in our, in our lives, that we start to understand and have a revelation of who we are in Christ, how much we are loved, that we were set apart, chosen. I just think about that he says that before the foundation of the universe, before the creation of the universe, that he thought about me. I mean, I just don't know about y'all, but that just, that just does it for me. I pray today that you connect with the love of God in your life that will change your life. I pray this in the glorious mighty name of Jesus. So I want to share a conversation I had with God, right? And as I ponder things and I seek him, right? I asked God to take away my pride, right? And God said, no. Yeah, he sure did. He told me that it wasn't something that I had to take away, that he had to take away from me. He said, it's something that I had to give up. I was like, oh man, okay. Then I asked God to grant me patience, right? And God said, nope. Mm -mm. He told me that patience is the fruit of adversity. It's not granted, it's conquered. I was like, oh my goodness. Then I asked God to give me happiness. And he looked at me, you know what he said? He said, nope. <laughs> He says he doesn't give happiness. He gives blessings. Happiness is a choice. It's up to me. I thought to myself, glory to God. Then I asked him to take away my pain. Yeah, I did. Nobody likes pain, right? And he said, nope. That pain and suffering would pull me away from the things of the world, honey, and bring me closer to him. Glory, hallelujah. And then I asked God, do you love me? And he said, yes. He said, open my eyes and look at all creation. He goes, start giving thanks and that I would find his love. And I thought about that for a moment. Then I asked God, I said, Lord, help me to love others like you love me. And he said, finally, you're starting to understand me. <laughs> God is amazing. God is wonderful. He has a good plan for your life. I pray today that you look at your life and you make room for God. He needs to be at the center of it all. I love you all so much. I pray that this message blesses you, that it falls on fertile ground, and that we start to yield and empty ourselves out so that God can move in. He's a good roommate, I'm telling you. <laughs> I love you guys. I am on Bless Boulevard. Mm-hmm. And... Happy trail. Where are you at? Holla.